Have you ever wondered if grace is going to be enough to get you through? Today I'm remembering two major stories of the Hebrew Scriptures. The story of Moses guiding the Hebrew slaves through the wilderness and the story of the exile. While in the wilderness, the Hebrews repeatedly doubted there was enough grace to get them through the wilderness. They complained to Moses, you brought us out in this wilderness to die. They complained about not having food, and then they complained about what kind of food they had. They would fear that they would starve to death, and then they feared they would, be, would die of thirst each time God met their need. During the exile, many of the Israelites were scattered and were forced to live in foreign lands far away from the land they knew, the people they loved, and the temple where they worshiped. They were uncertain what to do because they had not been put in that kind of position before. In the middle of talking about exile, the prophet Jeremiah brings these words of consolation for those in exile. It's in Jeremiah chapter 31. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. In the wilderness, they found grace. Notice that it did not say, when they got out of the wilderness, they found grace. No, they found grace while they were still in the wilderness. And it was in the wilderness that the Lord said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I've continued my faithfulness to you. What's the name of your wilderness? Where do you feel like you have been exiled from everything and everyone? When have you felt far from home in a foreign land? Perhaps you're experiencing grief, sickness, unemployment or insecurity. Maybe the name of your wilderness is pandemic. Or maybe your exile is denominational strife and uncertainty. Or you may believe that who you have become is too bad and what you do have done is far too big for God to redeem. If only you and I, in the middle of our wilderness or exile, could hear God's voice say, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. If we feel like we're playing hide and seek with God, we need to remember that we're always the one hiding and God is always the one who is seeking. The consistent story of Scripture is that no matter how big or bad the sin, no matter how wide the wilderness, no matter how scary the exile, no matter how dark the tomb, God's grace is greater.